Jim with Elite Personal Fit. Welcome to Body Shaping. Today, our workout is a total body circuit, and a lot of the movements are um, kind of like compound movements. They're involving um, the core to work, or we're doing some squat twist rotations, so a lot of joints in motion, and it's, it's a great way to work out. I'm going to run through two rounds of this circuit. Um, I'll do this with you in real time, so it'll be very easy to kind of follow along. Uh, there'll also be modifications as we go through these exercises. I know everyone's on the same fitness level. Um, so I want to make sure that this can appeal to a very broad audience. Uh, if you have weight equipment at home, uh, you can even use it at your corporate facility, uh, obviously. So if, if you have weights, use those. Listen, if you don't have weights, you should still be able to get a great workout. And I'm going to use some basic household items to show you how you can use some basic things to get a good, challenging workout. So here's a small list of items. Um, you, you may want an ab mat uh, or even a, a towel. Uh, we've got a exercise or two on the floor that that might add a little comfort to. Um, gallon jugs. I don't know if you can see these guys bottom corner here. I've got four gallon jugs. So you may want two to four gallon jugs. You can use those like kettlebells and dumbbells. Um, a chair. Uh, for, for a couple reasons, uh, maybe we've got some cross plank push-ups. Another neat exercise, right? You're tying in the core with a push-up. Um, some people have a difficult time going to the floor. So go to a bench or chair on those. We also have a tricep extension overhead. So um, I'll use a chair for that. So we'll sit down and do those overhead tricep extensions. Um, what else do we need? Um, we're going to do some box jumps. Guys, listen, if you have a hard time jumping, don't even worry about it. Because we, we're gonna, we're, you can modify that and just do a squat with your body weight or do a light jumping squat or press up on the balls of the feet. Okay? If you're able to jump, all right, um, you can use a step. Um, and I know this isn't super high for some people. Guys, everyone's at a fitness level. They're at a different fitness level. So uh, this one uh, is an old Reebok step. I've got four rises on each side. I'm gonna use that. You could use stairs. You could jump up and then step down, jump up. So you could use stairs, a step, um, a, a plyo box if you've got that. And again, if jumping is um, maybe maybe you're not able to jump for a metal condition, injury, whatever the case may be, we can modify that with some squats. Uh, the last thing um, is also where to use kind of like weights. I've got a backpack and I've got an old, some old dumbbells in there. Um, so you could put old, if you have old weight plates laying around, um, anything, multiple gallon jugs, um, books, paper. Uh, the idea is with the backpack, um, it, it, it might be easier to manage as you get heavier in weight. So with gallon jugs, you might be able to manage two in each hand, okay, for some of these exercises. Um, but maybe you want just a little more. And then that's why I've got a backpack. Hopefully you've got a backpack laying around yours or one of, one of your kids perhaps. So I've got a backpack and again, I've just got some weight in there that's heavier than uh, a couple gallon jugs. So, um, hey, let's get started. I'm gonna put the circuit on the screen so you can see that. We're gonna start with kind of like an upward wood chop. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of mimic um, throwing, like if you're throwing a medicine ball uh, maybe against the wall from a seated position. We're gonna mimic that with just a gallon jug. I'll put a mat down. And this is a great way just to kind of get the core um, engaged, okay? And uh, let me grab a gallon jug. So I've kind of got my stuff kind of set around here. So it's very easy, guys. If you set up your stations, you just go from one exercise to the next. So remember rest, and we always talk about it, really dictates your intensity. So decrease the rest, you increase the intensity. Um, with these seated, upward wood chops, seated twists one side, um, I'm gonna keep my heels lightly touching the ground. I'll lean back to increase that intensity. Um, honestly, I, I've done these with my feet up, um, and, and, I, and I know a lot of people like that. I just get more, if you just keep your heels lightly touching the floor, man, you can really dial in that, the, those abs and those obliques, and I think get a better workout. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold in the gallon jug here, and we are going to come down and then bring them up. One, two, about 15. Three. So 
four. Come up with authority and down slow. Five. Six. Great stuff, e even with not a ton of weight here. Okay, and obviously, guys, I, should, I think I mentioned this. I should have. I didn't. Medicine balls, kettlebells, dumbbells—they all work for this. All right. So if you have access to that, that's great. If you don't, here's a homemade version of a weight right here. Just kind of roll the shoulder. That was 15, really feeling those. Good exercise. The next exercise we have is also going to tie in the core, but we're gonna use our legs for the core and also work on upper body. So we're gonna do a cross plank push-up. I will show, you'll see a chair option so you can use a chair if you need to. Um, maybe you have wrist issues or whatever the case may be. Um, that is an option for here. That helps take pressure off the wrist, the shoulders, back, <clears throat> and listen, we're going for a round 10 here. Um, obviously, you can do a little more or maybe eight if uh, they're that challenging. Okay, so shoot for a round 10. We're up. You guys can really engage your core here. So I'm going to squeeze the core. Squeeze the core. on the feet. Whew, feel those. That's good stuff. I'm going to grab my backpack. We have one arm rows on one leg. This is another one of those exercises that you're working this foundational leg to support your body weight, working on balance a little bit. You're hitting the back. So uh, a great movement. If you have a hard time with balance, go next to a wall. You can use a chair and you can reach out and hope with your balance. 15. So I'll grab my backpack. So we're going to grab your weight, whether it's a dumbbell, kettlebell, backpack, or lift it up. The side that's holding the weight, that foot goes up in the air. So the opposite foot is grounded. Right? So my left foot is grounded, weight my right hand, I'm leaning over, and I'm gonna get 15 points towards that one. you'll definitely feel the leg so focus on that back I can really feel that so I'm gonna switch sides here Oh, feeling those. All right. I'm going to use the same backpack for some of these exercises. So um, if you can kind of, as you do this workout, you get a feel for the weight a little bit. And uh, this is going to work great. So our next exercise 
is going to be a squat and we're going to get a rotation. So to give you a quick demo on here, you're going to pivot on the side you're turning away from. So you're going to roll up on like the ball of the foot. So I'm going to hold this backpack, it'll be hard for you to see me, and I'm going to squat down. I'm going to come up and twist. So again, engaging that core while we work shoulders, a little triceps, legs, quads, hamstrings, glutes. So a great exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to go eight each way. Okay. Try not to hinge forward. Okay, so when you're doing this squat, you're gonna be holding maybe dumbbells or a kettlebell or a backpack. The weight hesitancy might pull you forward. Try to resist that. Stay upright. So when you squat, you're more upright. You're gonna come up and twist. Okay, here we go. Let's get these in. If you're using a backpack, I'm gonna go underhand grip, so it's almost like a goblet kind of position um, with the kettlebell. So I'm here. We're gonna hold it here, eight each way. Here we go. We're gonna squat, and then I'll come up. Squat. And this is a little different than when you're having dumbbells. It wants to shift a little bit on you. There's a little more momentum. A lot tougher than they look, especially with that weight, because as you turn, it has this little pendulum effect. So this actually works a little harder than if you're holding like dumbbells or a kettlebell. So neat little addition here. Uh, next exercise, another one where you kind of blend two exercises together. So try to make the body work a little harder with these movements. So this is going to be a curl upright row. So biceps, shoulders, uh, some, some trapezius with this. So in this case, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab, instead of an underhand, if you're using a backpack like we did before, we're gonna go overhand with your hands so you can get your upright row in, okay? So I'm overhand, but I still have the flexibility to turn it a little bit for the curls, right? So guys, let's get 10 or so of these, right? Here we go. So we're gonna, we're gonna curl, Come down, pull on the channel. One, curl, two, Fifteen. Okay, I'm gonna set this off to the side for just a moment. Backpack comes in handy today. I'm gonna grab a chair. We have overhead tricep extensions. So I'm gonna bring a chair. You could do these standing. So I'm gonna set this here, and uh, I'm gonna grab my backpack. Okay, here we go. Up and over. And now we're really trying to isolate those triceps. Around 15 of these. Elbows you don't flare it out too wide. Bring them in a little bit, come up, and then squeeze the hands up toward the ceiling. One, up, two, three,
if there was 15, I'll do a few more. Um, backpack straight because you can easily add gallon jugs if you need to. Okay, we'll set this down for just a moment. I'm gonna do the chair of the way. The next one is some box jumps. So kind of a little plow metric involved in this. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, if you have a hard time jumping in general, okay, um, guys, just, just do a squat and drive up on the balls of the feet. So you're not getting the air, just drive it up and back down. If you don't have a step or a plyo box or safe stairs that you could jump and step down on, um, just do a jump squat. Okay, so what we can do in that case is you can jump just slightly forward, take a step back, jump slightly forward, step back. So you can modify without the step. I'll use this step with the risers. We're looking for 10 to 15 of these and I'm not going to jump off the step. I'm gonna step down from the step, all right? So full energy driving up, step back, energy going up, okay? Here we go. We'll get 10 to 15 of these. So we're here. And battle. One, All right, that was 15 of the box jumps. Fire up those legs a little bit, getting heart going. So that was one round through. So now we simply need to go through this one more time. So I'll grab a weight, and you don't have to use weight on this either. You just use your, your, your arms. Here we go. Fifteen. Elbows are soft. All on the core. Catch your breath for just a second. We're gonna match reps going the other way. Okay, catch your breath again for just a minute. And we've got cross plank push-ups. Remember you have a bench option or chair option. Uh, if the floor is too challenging or you know if you have a condition where getting to the floor is really painful. Here we go.
Squeeze that core. Feel those. Whoo! All right. We're back to our one arm rows on one leg. Here we go. Foundational leg, weight on the opposite side. Here we go. that leg. Woo. Okay, I'm gonna switch them up. Set that there. Shake the legs out. Not only does that hit the back, but you're also hitting that foundational leg. So as you probably felt. So now we have our squat with rotation. And as I mentioned in the first first round, watch that weight. When you go to rotate, you have this little pendulum effect. So it's going to try to continue to throw you. So a lot of core control. All right. So. I kind of like that. Here we go. We got eight each direction. All right. Here we go. Oh my, tiring. All right, shake them up for a second. Next exercise, curl, upright row. All right, here we go.
10. We'll get a few more here. All right, and now overhead tricep extension. And what I'm gonna do is just over the backpack. It's very easy to throw just a water jug in there, kind of like putting weights on a bar. So I got a water, a gallon jug in there that makes it a little heavier. We'll set up the chair. <clears throat> and this could be just a gallon jug in each hand too. So. You know, the backpack, as I mentioned, is just optional. Here we go. Throw this up. All right. Good form here. One, two, All right, so that was 15 of those. We'll set this off to the side. And boy, we've made it to our last one. So we have got these box jumps, our squats. Uh, to get in, we've got 10 to 15. Here we go, let's get them. <clears throat> Okay, that was 15, so 10 to 15 of those. And uh, heart's racing a little bit, but good stuff. So that was not too long a workout. That was our total body. So core is engaged in a lot of these movements. Um, just as supported like with a squat rotation, uh, things of that nature. So hope you had a great workout. Thanks for joining me. This is Elite Fitness, bringing wellness to you.